Hello, first grade. As we learned in the video, we learned that God has given all organisms external parts and different animals use their body parts in different ways to see, hear, grasp objects, protect themselves, and move from place to place and seek, find, and take in food, water, and air. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at three different birds and we're going to use something that's similar to their beak. We're going to look at the hummingbird today. So we're going to use a toothpick for the hummingbird's beak. And then we're going to look at the pelican. We're going to use a spoon for that beak. And then we're going to look at the oyster catcher. And we're going to use a straw for that beak. So what you're going to do is each group will have a plate. And this is going to be, we're going to pretend that this is the food for each kind of bird. So the first person is going to, well, there'll be three people in a group. So one person is going to have the straw beak, and one person is going to have the spoon beak, and one person is going to have the toothpick beak. So first of all, the person with the toothpick beak, you're going to see how many of these marshmallows you can pick up. They're supposed to be like seeds for the hummingbird. So you're gonna have 30 seconds to see how many of these you can pick up and put over here in your cup. So you're gonna pick them up, put them over here in your cup. So you have 30 seconds. Okay, so that's gonna be the hummingbird. And then the next one is going to be the oyster catcher and the oyster catcher is going to pick up the worms so you can only pick up one at a time you're going to pick up one at a time and put in your cup and you're going to see how many worms you can pick up in 30 seconds and then last but not least is the pelican and the pelican has a long scooping bill and you're going to see how many seeds you can scoop up in 30 seconds So you can see that God has given all, all birds different kinds of beaks for certain reasons based on what they eat. So remember, we're going to be in groups of three today, and you're going to be studying different beaks. So we're going to use the spoon, the straw, and the toothpick, and everyone will get a turn with each kind of beak. And then you can talk to your group about what worked for certain things and what didn't. And maybe you could even try, like, the toothpick. You know, can I pick up... Can I pick up a worm with this by poking it? Will that work? I don't know. Could I poke this? Will that work? Can I scoop up these with this? Probably could. So we'll just try different things and we'll talk about it. So you'll have 30 seconds to be each different type of bird. And then we'll talk about the pelican and its beak and the hummingbird and the oyster catcher. All right, it's time to be scientists. I cannot wait. Let's do this. Bye-bye.